Hi coders, it's Victor with the solution for the problem code forces 1443, the delivery dilemma. The problem is somewhat similar to our video, the best team with no conflicts. We rate the complexity of this problem as 3 out of 5 and its elegance as 4 out of 5. Now it's a perfect moment to read the problem statement by the link in the description for this video. Great. This is how the problem can be rephrased for simplicity. There are n restaurants with careers. Food can be ordered from the restaurants in different times A of n. Also, orders can be collected from the restaurants in B of n time. The goal is to get food from all of the restaurants, either by delivery or pickup, as soon as possible. Let's look at some examples. For the given case, one of the optimal ways would be to order delivery from the restaurants 1, 3 and 4 and visit the restaurant 2. In this case, the total delivery time will be the maximum delivery time across the restaurants 1, 3 and 4, which is 5, and the total pickup time will be 1. The minimal time to get the food at home is 5. Here is another example. In this case, one of the optimal solutions would be to order delivery from the restaurants 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8 and 9 and visit the restaurants 1 and 7. The total delivery time will be the maximum delivery time across the restaurants 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9, which is 7, and the total pickup time will be 5. The minimal time to get the food at home is 7. Let's rephrase the problem in abstract terms. You are given a set S of pairs i and j, and the goal is to split the set into two subsets k and l to minimize the equation. So basically we need to split the set of restaurants into two subsets. Uh, we'll order courier delivery from the restaurants in the first subset and we'll visit the restaurants from the second subset. The maximal number of restaurants in the problem statement is 10 to the power of 5. This makes the brute force solution impossible. An observation that the order of the restaurants in the target subsets doesn't change the total time still doesn't simplify the problem much. The number of total possible separation into subsets equals to a sum of all binomial coefficients for different case. The direct computation of all possible combinations on a set of n elements will take more than 10 to the power 120 operations. On modern architectures, it's more than 10 to the power of 110 seconds, which is greater than the total time of the universe. Considering the time limit of two seconds, we need to implement something smarter than that. Now let's discuss some acceptable solutions and also prove they occur. Let's say we have already separated the set of restaurants into the subsets K and L. Uh, and we use courier delivery for the restaurants from K and we'll visit the restaurants from L. For the set of restaurants that we ordered delivery from, there would be a restaurant with the maximum delivery time, time delivery Kmax. And now, if there are restaurants with a delivery time less than to Dkmax, it's optimal to order delivery from these and don't visit them, as it will not increase the total delivery time and will decrease the total pickup time. In other words, there is some number to Dkmax. This is our optimal maximum allowed delivery time. We order courier delivery from the restaurants whose delivery time doesn't exceed the TDK max, and we visit the rest of the restaurants. How can we find the TDK max? An if approach is to iterate across candidates for TDK max as delivery time across all the possible restaurants, which will take all of them. Split the set of restaurants based on their delivery time, O of n, in a straightforward way, and calculate the sums. 
which will take again O of n. The algorithmic complexity of the solution is O of the n squared. It's a way better than the brute force solution, uh, but still doesn't fit into the problem constraints. As I mentioned in the beginning of this video, our solution will be a way simpler in code and similar to a previously discussed problem best in no conflicts. So for a given set of restaurants, first we sort the restaurants by their delivery time. Next, we iterate through the sorted list and maintain two numbers, the time to visit the restaurants with the delivery time greater than the DKMX and the delivery time from all the restaurants with their delivery time no greater than the DKMX. It's obvious that the delivery time from all of the restaurants with their delivery time no greater than the DKMX will be the DKMX. And finally, we select the best possible result. Now it's time to look at the possible source code. We define the restaurants as a vector of pairs, delivery time and pickup time. Next, we sort restaurants by the delivery time. And finally, we iterate through the candidates for TDKMX, maintain the pickup and delivery values. Look at the elegance of this source code. The solution is available as a GitHub link in the description for this video. Please subscribe to get notifications on interesting programming problems and always grow as a developer. Stay tuned.